Hi, I'm Matthew Buzzy with PC Mag. I'm here with Lenovo and I have a concept for you, the ThinkBook Flip. Um, as the name implies, it involves flipping up some screens and the secret surprise here is one giant display. Now the Flip here has, in a way, three screens. There's the two individual smaller displays and the one full display when they're both combined. One of the small displays when closed is about 13 inches, one's about 12 point something, it's under 13, and together combined they're 18.1. So you get a pretty sizable amount of uh, screen real estate here when you combine them together. You can see the seam, it's a little it's a little flimsy. This is a proof of concept, so bear that in mind when you're taking a look at this. The screen ratio here is a four by three aspect ratio, um, and the laptop is only 16.9 millimeters thick. So despite everything going on here, uh, despite the dual displays in a way, despite the one large display, pretty thin, and light system that this is attached to. While that one large vertical display is a big part of the appeal, you can also use this in a couple other different configurations. Um, you can just have one sort of standard screen playing, but while it's in this mode, the other display actually is facing outward. So we've seen a number of different concepts that have a way to display what you're looking at as a user to someone sitting across from you. And this has, with a key command, the ability to display on both sides uh, what I'm seeing on my side. So you can play a video, put up a PowerPoint, whatever the, whatever it is that you want people in the room with you to see, um, you can make a display on both at once, which is an interesting feature and an interesting way to use a uh, folding display. Last but not least, and part of what makes this even more useful, uh, is this LED touchpad. We've seen a couple other implementations of this, notably with ASUS. They like to use this for calculators and things like that on their systems, um, notably on the Zephyrus line. But we see this here used with a number of macro shortcuts. Um, the icons are predetermined by Lenovo, so you know those can't change. Obviously, there's hardware there making <laughs> making the icons show up, but what they do can be changed by the user. So the functions are user definable, while the icons have been predefined by Lenovo. Um, you can make it play a video. You can pull up the calculator. You can do a number of different things, and then turn it um, back off to use as a regular touchpad, just like so. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the ThinkBook Fold concept. Maybe we'll see this implemented into a real design on a retail product one day, but it's an interesting idea nonetheless.